now that the Final Four is over, naturally we need to start talking about football. Yeah, lots of it in the news. The Panthers have convened in Charlotte. They've just started their off-season workouts to get ready for the upcoming year. It's the first time the full team has convened in Charlotte since all the off-season changes. Go. First day back in the building, new coaches. New everything, it's time to get this thing rolling. Yeah, Imar Smith, Marset, ready for the Dave Canales era to start. Interesting video of the rookie head coach greeting all the players on the first day of workouts. The Panthers have a voluntary mini camp coming up April 23rd to the 25th, the draft. So lots of things changing in Charlotte. Now we'll see how it all works out over the next several months. ECU's football team gearing up for the spring game Saturday. The Pirates underwent a bunch of changes as well. All eyes on the quarterback position. Number four, Kate in Houston is the Michigan State transfer. Number 11, Jake Garcia, you're a Missouri transfer battling it out, and they're trying to get up to speed with new offensive coordinator John David Baker. 15 practices is all they have, and it finishes up this week. Um, we've thrown a lot out of both sides of the ball. You know, there's, there's all this offensive stuff is brand new, and so they're, you know, the kids are having to spend extra time on their own just to make sure they have everything down. Because, you know, if you're wanting to play fast, you can't be thinking. You know, you gotta, it's got to be just like, like that. And so, uh, you know, that, that jump this week is is got to be in the execution phase offensively. We'll see how they look in the spring game. That kicks off 11 a.m. Saturday at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. Busy day of college baseball around the state. ECU starting a five game and six day stretch. All five of those games in Greenville starting with Elon today. UNC Wilmington and NC State also enjoying their in-state rivalry in the Port City. North Carolina, South Carolina enjoying their interstate rivalry in Charlotte. Same thing with Wake Forest and Coastal and Duke welcoming in both William and Mary while A&T playing Charlotte in the Queen City. Minor League Baseball former ECU star Zach Agnos off to a hot start playing for the Colorado Rockies High A affiliate, the Spokane Indians. Zach led all of minor league baseball last year with saves, and he already has two saves and two appearances this season, plus three strikeouts, carrying the Agnos banner as his brother Jake, released by the Yankees organization earlier this week. Minor League Baseball, the Down East Wood Ducks hitting the road for the first time. They made the short trip to Zebulon. They'll take on the Mudcats for a six-game road series. Both teams started their seasons with weekend sweeps. NCAA Tournament Championship game. UConn did it. Back-to-back -back champs. They're the first to do it since Florida in 2007. And former East you star Tristan Newton named the most outstanding player. He scored 20 points, dished out seven assists, had five rebounds. UConn finishes off their domination, winning their six tourney games by an average of 23 points per game. Thanks to Newton. Uh, these past two years have been amazing. You know, UConn has changed my life. Um, this is the best decision I've ever made in my life, and I'm, I'm grateful. And thank God I made this decision. Experience it together. Tristan now heads off to his pro career. UConn will try to become the second team ever to win three straight NCAA tournament titles. UCLA, the last team to do it, and that was 50 years ago. You can catch the rest of your ENC Sports on our website, WCTI12.com, including the latest on Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s decision to get behind the uh, wheel of a race car this Saturday night in Jacksonville at the New River All-American Speedway. I'm Brian North for News 12.